as good as I'm going to get it with EQ. Okay? That's, it doesn't get a lot better than that without putting some mufflers on those drums. Okay, and then finally, let's go ahead and do that floor tom. Oh, wow. <laughs> this is going to be fun. All right, so it's going to be a level here. Let me check where that mic is. Again, uh, the drum is at an angle. The, the mic was at a pretty severe angle to the drum, so I'm straightening it out a little. Again, a floor tom was your worst enemy for picking up uh, rumble. But go ahead and work on that some more. And then lastly, if you're lucky enough to get overheads on your drums, this is the coolest thing for getting that extra sizzle off the cymbals. A lot of guys don't think about this. All they think about is getting that killer kick drum and a snare drum that will you know, hit you in the chest. The truth is, this is like the salt and the pepper on top of that really good meal. And we want to make sure that everybody can hear these cymbals right. So two things. First off, I spent the most money on these two microphones. These are not as expensive as these are. Because these are for picking up these really high frequency sounds that are really delicate. So for that reason, we're going to put them close to the cymbals. We're not going to have them too far away from the kit, right? And we're going to roll off all the low end so that they only pick up the sound of the cymbals. We don't want them to amplify what's underneath them, which are the drums. So I'm going to go to these overheads, and I'm going to take the low and just cut it way down, cut the lows way down, because that's something that doesn't need to be amplified here. And even the mids, I'll take those down a little before I ever even hear it, I'm thinking of this, you know? And these are my most expensive microphones, so I don't want him blowing in them to make sure they're on, and I don't need him hitting them with a stick, I can check them myself, but all this happens. So if you're gonna spend three, four hundred dollars a piece on microphones and have somebody hit them with a stick, they ain't going to be your friend for very long. <laughs> All right. So anyway, um, let's just, um, if you just work the symbols on this side first. Yeah, go with that one first. Channel. There you go. I noticed because I EQ them that there's very little level coming up on my meters whenever he plays. That's because I've taken all that low end energy out of that sound. So now I've got an overhead that should sound pretty good. Let me turn that on and see what it sounds like. All right, you want to try that again? Trying to hear it just a little. Get that sizzle, that, that little extra that a, that a cymbal gets out. Now I'll tell you another little secret. Closer it is to this crown, closer it is to the crown, it's the same as when he hits it with a stick. Hit the crown with a stick. You hear that sound? That ain't what we want to amplify, is it? We want, go ahead and hit the right rim. I don't want that. I don't want that bell sound. So I'm going to adjust that mic so it's over that part of the cymbal. Okay, now you try it again. Now you see what I mean? You start to really get a better sound right away. More energy. Okay, now we could just go ahead and play those others and I think I'll have a basic setting. I don't have that panel. 
a good sounding start for a drum set. Now notice I have the PA on and we haven't messed with his, with his uh, monitor at all. But let's go ahead and hear what that kit sounds like as a whole now. Okay, you want to go ahead and play a little? ballpark here. You got a real nice sounding set of drums for a start. It's a little loud, but it's sound check. Sound check doesn't matter how loud it is, right? We're all having fun and it's all good. So you sound awesome out here by the way. Thank you for doing that. Okay, so that's a good start as to what we wanted out of that kit. Now the rest of the um, the rest of the system is direct. So um, we kind of cheated. We used a guitar pedal unit we didn't use a guitar amp and a microphone. So the same kind of rule applies with your uh, mic and a drum cap, uh, guitar cabinet with a microphone. You might want to play with where your mic is setting. But so as we go down and set up the rest of these, uh, these settings, um, just know that we didn't have a, a, um, an instrument amp on stage. There's two reasons for this. First off, she knows always how that's going to sound. It's never a different amp, never, who might get different this week? Uh, and third, for, for me, as a selfish sound guy, the quieter I make this up on stage, the better it sounds out here. Because I don't have screaming guitar trying to get into these microphones. I don't have killer drums trying to get into this microphone here. It's for vocals. That's the reason why most people tell you going to those in-ear monitors is a good thing. Cause you don't go deaf too. It doesn't become a volume war on stage. So let's go to the next thing I've got. Um, I set up my mixer this way. You can set it up however you works, whatever works for you. I just did vocals next. <coughs> Excuse me. So let's do, Ezra, can I have you try your mic? Okay, keep coming. Step one, two, two, check. Okay. Step one, two, two, check. <laughs> <laughs> All right. Check one, two, two, check. We got gotcha. you. Okay, now I'll tell you a little secret. She is pretty shy. And we're all here, and that's all you're hearing. So she's not going to sing out the way she would when we perform. So I'm going to know when we're doing these sound checks, to set this a little bit lower than it should be because she's gonna, in the heat of the performance, sing a little louder when she's more comfortable. So anyway, we got you started. Now, once I get that setting, once I get that setting for her, I can take that same setting and put it across every microphone that's the same. At least I'd be in the ballpark, right? So I'll just go across here, make sure I got my settings the same. And, and, and. All right, ladies. Oh, I'm here. Okay. Check, one, two, hello. Hello. Check. We can hear you. Hi. Check, one, two, hello, hello. Check, one, two, two, one. Stop. Where's that coming from? That's a new sound, huh? One. So the first thing I'm going to do is I'm going to kill all the low end on these microphones. Two reasons. None of these ladies sing bass. Also, if they drop one of these microphones, I don't want to buy a woofer. 